Oh my God. Anthony Joshua. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He says Joshua looks to be a broken man. Picks the Ukrainian, Alexander Usyk, to do what he did in the first fight and beat Anthony Joshua. We gonna talk about that right here in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder is back. He's back. Make sure you guys get your tickets. He is fighting Robert Hellenius, big Viking looking muff that hurt and, in my opinion, changed the the trajectory of Adam Kalnacki, his career, because Adam Kalnacki was not looking like that until he had those two fights with Robert Hellenius. And if you look at his last fight, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Deontay Wilder is coming back to the Barclays. You don't want to miss it. Wilder at the Barclays is always action. He fought Luis King Kong Ortiz there. He fought against Archer Spilka and Spilt Spilka there. You know what I mean? And he fought Bermain Stavern and was standing up like he was Dragon Ball Z, one punch man after the knockdown. It's just, it's craziness when, when Wilder fight in New York. So I'm glad Wilder is back. And he talked about the upcoming fight this weekend. Anthony Joshua stepping in as challenger to fight Alexander Usyk. This is what he had to say. I'm going with Alexander Usyk. He just looks even more confident, more so than ever now. And you look at Anthony Joshua, he just looks like a different man. He looks more broken. Maybe it's him not used to having the titles. The tables have turned. I'm going with Usyk like I picked before. So I think I'm going to stick with that. Once that happens, there's a unification fight as well. I'm proud to say that I don't ever have to come back to the business of boxing again. I made more money outside of the ring than in, says Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. My thoughts, boxing ego, ego, ego thoughts. I agree. I've always been picking Usyk before fight week, before that. Usyk looks remarkably in pocket and comfortable so i definitely see what deontay wilder is seeing here you look at the outfit Usyk had he's singing his national anthem he has his haircut you know unique haircut with the ball size and he got the little quail in the front even when he did a face-off with anthony joshua it just looked like Usyk. he was he looked like the champion we'll just put it that way Normally, I don't really put too much stock into face-offs because I've seen Floyd Mayweather face off with guys and let the fans tell it in the comment section, Floyd looked away first or Floyd looked scared. Or more recently, I remember Errol Spence, hey, stop that cap, man, damn. Errol Spence versus Ugas in that face-off, which just happened earlier this year, Errol Spence, he kind of looked away before Ugas. And I seen some people in the comment section saying, oh, look at Ugas' bicep. Errol Spence looked away first, and then the next day, Errol Spence proceeded to beat the brakes off of Ugas and turn him into a Cyclops, right? And dominate that fight for real. So I don't really look normally unless there's something to be seen. I don't, I don't use that as like a real defining marking point, but sometimes face-offs can tell you a bit about the fighter's level of confidence. And I just see Usyk, he, he looks ready. He looks like... He was born for this. He's the guy who's smaller. He's the guy who came up from cruiserweight. He's the guy with less muscles and less of the, the look. You know, Joshua out here looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Last Action Hero. But Usyk is the one looking calm. <laughs> Call me when the governor gets there. <laughs> you know, and it muscles don't win fights. So Joshua can look built and do these pictures and growl and grunt and do these pictures where he's like making faces with the mouthpiece in. But I agree with Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder DW. Joshua does not look to be the more confident of the two. Like again, look at the face off. And again, I don't always use face offs because something that sometimes I don't like to reach and read into much of the face off, but Usyk is looking at him, staring him down and Joshua look like mad, uncomfortable and, just didn't look confident so we'll see you know we'll see if joshua can prove me wrong prove dw wrong 
this Saturday, but I'm definitely picking Usyk. I was already picking Usyk, just like Deontay Wilder is saying. I was already picking him, but what I'm seeing, it just makes me more calm and confident in my pick that Usyk gets it done again. You know, it's boxing. Joshua's big. He's a knockout artist, so there's a chance, but it looks to me like Usyk got more dog in him and more fight. And Usyk has fought bigger guys, Joe Joyce and the amateurs and big punchers like Arthur Better Biev, right? He fought Joshua 12 rounds. And he, even though he was a smaller man, he looked to be the bigger man the way he was fighting. He was stepping to Joshua, giving a couple angles, southpaw, da da da, who move, ha da da. And Joshua looked befuddled. And the worst thing for Joshua is that 12th round. The other parts of the fight, you know, maybe Joshua had some spots, but that 12th round was looking bad. And nobody in boxing wants to talk about the stuff that I talk about on my channel. Joshua, he looked like he was completely gassed out. He was trying to feign and act like he had this head movement and he was getting tagged along the ropes. And it looked like he was crying. He was crying in there. After the fight, after the bell rang, it looked like he was exhausted, like he ran an ultra marathon or something. And I just simply put, did not get that. It looked like Joshua was really like exhausted, you know, and it looked like he was crying. His team, there was like they were they were treating Joshua. He's a big six foot six Nigerian black British dude. And they were treating him like it was NASCAR at the pit stop where they're changing the tires and, you know, pumping gas and, you know, getting your getting your car back together they it just looked weird it looked like the pit crew was working on him but the fight was over and then now you have gareth davis the boxer reporter he's saying that there's some inner turmoil with new trainer roberto garcia and saying that joshua and robert garcia haven't always seen eye to eye in the camp i just don't like seeing that Usyk, he's probably kept the same people he looks more confident just like deontay is saying and you know that's a bad sign if going into the fight you had a brand new trainer and you're not even seeing eye to eye according to the rumors and it just looks like Usyk is more confident so I, I feel like for Joshua to win it he has to in the first five six rounds detonate and you know create a tempo and or knock Usyk out right then and there to discourage him but if he hasn't done anything major by the midway point of the fight, I think Usyk will be in the rhythm and he just he's going to gain confidence and Usyk may even stop Joshua. And that'll be the end of that. The zone signed him to this lifetime contract. Bad timing. You should have did this when Joshua was fighting Eric Molina. But, you know, if he loses, it's going to be it's going to be a bad look for Eddie Hearns and Anthony Joshua. I agree with Deontay here. SLC. If you want to look at the Joshua, excuse me, Usyk, he's the champion. Usyk versus Joshua, tail of the tape. Check out Boxer Ego First Look. I'll put a card at the end of this video. Hop over to that video to see how they match up. That's my original series. If you ever see First Look, Boxer Ego First Look, it's the tail of the tape. I spent some time with those, so make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. 
Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.